Simulator last night, or maybe actually no, two nights ago. I don't know. This past Monday's match between CM Punk and Curtis Axel with Paul Heyman in the corner. Let's do it. One, two, three, go. Uh, yeah, freestyle. The Rock is on my screen. He's not on my screen. Yes, he is. This is a bad freestyle, and I cannot rap. But that's okay because it's not about that. You know what I'm talking about? Yo, zippity zap, zappity zip. You shut up, you little shit. Uh, uh, freestyle. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. Punk and Axel. Uh oh, look at this. A little bit of miscommunication already right off the bat, but. Oh my goodness, the knees buried right in the middle of the chest and I have to say, if Paul Heyman gets involved in this, it could cause a little bit of trouble for the CM Punk. But you know what? Off to the top rope goes Punk and look at this, right into the cover, Charles Robinson, no. On top of things and was not able to count the field right off the bat. But here comes, here comes the punkster. Just dominating Curtis Axel right out of the gate. And keep in mind, this guy is not, you know, slim pickings. He is the Intercontinental Champion. Such holders of the Intercontinental Championship include people like the Ultimate Warrior. People like the Honky Tonk Man. People like Curtis Axel's father, Mr. Perfect. So he has a lot of pressure. Oh, 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 my God. Going for the close line, but CM Punk able to reverse, much to the dismay of Happy Heyman at the red ring side. And now look at this. Oh, my. Burying the shoulder right into Curtis Axel. But Axel able to get the advantage in the corner. CM Punk. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Action faster than you can call it right now. The tornado DDT. And my goodness, Punk is looking CM good is on this episode of Raw. My goodness. And now Punk able to do the springboard. And my jeez. Absolutely. This is crazy. Right off the ball. My god. Oh, look at that. Punk able to hit the springboard. And my goodness, Punk is absolutely destroying Curtis Axel in the middle of the ring right here on Raw. And my goodness, another body slam, another leg drop. Hulk Hogan would be very, very proud of 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 this guy. Right? Oh my goodness, another one, body slam city. And now, my goodness. CM Punk has exactly. Oh, 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 yo, yeah, oh my god. That's a vintage Punk as he hits that knee right on the bottom of the chin. And look at this. Punk signaling to Heyman and signaling to the rest of the WWE Universe that this is over. Punk hits that go to sleep right on to. Curtis Axel and my god, oh, he's not done with him yet apparently. Oh, another body slam by Punk, really wants to send a message, really wants to bury the Intercontinental Champion at all costs. And look at this, another body slam, does he only have one move in his arsenal? Apparently, but hey, guess what, if it works, don't break it. Look at this, another drop kick. Oh my god, and by drop kick, I mean leg drop. I've been taking Michael Cole commentary crashes. That's right. And look at this. Oh my god, another shoulder bump. Just absolutely destroying the Intercontinental Champion. And as, as busted. Oh my god, still cannot get the advantage. Punk is absolutely burying Curtis Axel. And oh jeez, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh, missed a little bit of e communication, yes, communication. Oh, oh my, oh my, here we go. And oh, yeah, Barry's done me right into the breast muscles. And here we go, it's Punk. Punk now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, what a maneuver there by Punk. And what is he going to do now? Oh, listen. Axel, oh, Axel able to do a twisted neck breaker. I believe his first offensive move of the match, but Punk again says no. 
And we could kick you in the face for having an offensive maneuver, he says. And look at this. Whips him to the far. Oh, another move by Curtis Exo. I believe it was the same one as before. But Punk says no. Punk says no. Whips him into the corner. And now again, look at this. Oh my, Tornado DDD again, and that is not going to help. That is not going to help. Look at this. Oh, what could be happening? What could, and Paul Heyman is very unhappy. And he is on the ringside area carrying his acquisition, his client, to not tap out. But Chow Robinson is very distracted right now. If, if Curtis Axel taps, I don't, I don't know if he's going to see it. Is that the... Is that the end of the match? Oh my god, Chow Robinson, he didn't see it, and Punk is angry. Pushing Chow Robinson all the way to the outside floor. And by the floor, I mean Rene. And, the and now CM Punk. Oh, Punk now. Oh my goodness. He has lost all control out of this one. And now, Curtis Axel beginning to work away on his adversary, CM Punk. And I have to... Oh no, my god, my god, my god. Two. Oh, wait a second, this is, whoa, my jeez, look at this back and forth, crotch in the face of Axel, and look at this again, oh my goodness, it's like the windmill, the windmill, no, 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 oh, oh, punk back on top, one, two, no, 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 oh, back on top, one, two, oh, no, with this axle. Oh, look at this. One, two, no, no, oh, oh. Oh my god, Paul Heyman. Come on, you were right, right in the middle of the count. Come on, referee. Get right back into this thing. He wouldn't have been able to kick out. And now they look like they're doing the 69 or something. CM Punk doing the dick sucking and, and, and the Curtis Axle doing the pussy licking or the asshole licking. No, one, two, and no. Oh my god, what a close call there. And Happy Heyman almost destroyed the match for everybody involved. As oh, Punk now. Punk really feeling it. Really feeling it. Oh, look at the shoulder. Oh, here we go. Oh, another knee. That is not going to do Curtis Axel's cut in the favors. He is going to bleed out like a stuck pig, I assure you. And again, Paul Heyman back on the ring apron. Come on, Paul. And, oh, oh, you know, should I say, come on, Charles Robinson. Look at the manager ejected. Very good. Come on. Punk has won this match several times. And still has not been able to put Axel away. And now, look at the slash right across the face of Axel. Oh, Punk in trouble actually, Punk in trouble. And now look at this, what is Curtis Axel doing? Planting him right on the top rope, could this be Superplex time? Punk on top, Punk on top. Superplexity by Curtis Axel, but no sold by CM Punk back on his feet as Curtis Axel now is absolutely taking control out of this one. Whoa, my God. Shades of his dad there focusing on the head and now Axel working on all body parts right now. The arm, the head. Actually, I have to say, Paul Heyman being ejected by ringside, this is the first type of offense that we have seen from Axel. So perhaps the manager, Paul Heyman, being ejected from this match will only do wonders for, for Curtis Axel. Because I have to say, perhaps Paul Heyman was distracting not only Punk, but Curtis Axel as well. As right now, Paul Heyman not at ringside and Curtis Axel in total control. So, I mean, what's going on here? And look at this whipping. Oh my god, Curtis Axel in fine form right now. But not for long. Here comes Punk back into the swing of things. Slaps right across the face. But Axel says no. Cuts him off right off the at the pass. We thought CM Punk was getting right back into this thing. And what, what's going to happen? Both superstars. Oh, look at this. The slap by him. The slap by Punk now. Oh, what a match here. What a five-star classic with with Axel and Punk. Oh my. Punk and Chapo. Punk and Chapo. Punk and Chapo. No. And uh oh, look at this. Oh no. The perfect flex. That is vintage. Mr. Perfect. 
Kurt Hennig can that be enough to put away the former WWE Champion? No, only the one count says Punk. And now look at this. Kurt is actually showing a little bit of frustration. And now using the ropes, and I have to say, he is using the ropes as his friend. And I have to tell you, this is a total veteran maneuver, using the ropes as a weapon. Because that is, you know what that is a demonstration of? That is a demonstration of ring awareness. And being the son of Mr. Perfect, oh, oh, look at this. I have to shut up right away as Punk. Look at this, oh my god, my goodness. Oh, jeez. The knee buried right into the brass muscle again, and Punk is now feuding it. Oh, look at this. The roundhouse kick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, jeez. Curtis Axel is going to regret all the offense as it only served to make Punk an angrier man. Oh, my goodness. The body slam. And oh, my. Can Punk be thinking what I be thinking? And that is Macho Man Randy Savage. Yes! The elbow from the top rope, and he has signaled for the end. Is it the GTS time? Is it GTS time? I believe it is, motherfucker. Look at that! Oh my god. The knee right into Curtis Axel's face. I have to say, Lai Lai Licker, you know what I'm talking about? Lai Lai Licker, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah! CM Punk able to pick up the victory and he will be facing Paul Heyman and uh, right back, the team of that in Hell in a Cell, 201 Uh I would like to thank all of you for joining me uh, and uh, let me know how I did on the commentary. Could, do you think I could get a job? Do you think I'm better than Josh Matthews? Do you think I'm better than uh, Jonathan Coachman? Do you think that I'm better than Todd Christian? Do you think that I'm better than Kevin Carey? Do you think I'm better than The Miss? Do you think I'm better than Michael Cole? Do you think I'm better than Vince McMahon? Do you think I'm better than Gorilla Monsoon? Do you think I'm better than Bobby Heenan? The list goes on, and I believe I am in that list of one of the best commentators of all fucking time. Anyway, nonetheless, CM Punk has gotten the victory right here on Raw, and I am sure he is just itching to get his hands on Happy Heyman at Hell in a Cell which is a couple weeks away live on Pay Per View. Thank you again for joining me. Subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash peterchildgames. These shades are available at shadysluts.com in which you can purchase them and get $10 off if you use the promo code PYROBOOTS. P-Y-R-O-B-O-O-B-S. And if you don't want to save money, it means you are stupid. Support the show, look good at the same time. Thank you to Road Mics for supplying this podcast to microphone. It is amazing, fantastic. I absolutely recommend it. And until next time, stop drinking the haterade and start drinking the bubble tea. In other words, ting ji yam lap sa poi ji yam jan ju lai cha. Ciao outside, motherfucker. Rock the shades that Peter Chow wears today by visiting ShadySluts.com. Shades are only $34, and when you use my personal promo code, PyroBoobs, you will get $10 off. ShadySluts.com.